So good evening, those who have gone through our 15th June GAN course. So 15th June we had, we have started fun GAN course. So it was an online course, those who have gone through that. So I have taken the trend reversal date calculations for those participants using the price to price is very price range and time square actions. So there two methods comes high angle and low angle and one more method that high to low squares. So these two trend reversal date calculations I have explained in that particular event. So as for that, the high to low, low squaring method, the 20th June, it is a trend reversal date for Nifty. 20th June, which is falling tomorrow. So this 20th June is a trend reversal date for the Nifty, which is falling tomorrow. So we need to look into that whether whatever the trend closing happened on 19th June, opposite of that things will be is going to happen on 20th. This is what this trend reversal meaning is. If 19th it is a positive trend closing, positive trend closing. So I'm just using the positive trend closing. Then 20th will be a negative opening or a negative closing. If 19th is a negative closing, trend closing, then 20th will be a positive opening or a positive closing. That is the meaning of trend reversal. Then. So let us see what happened today. So today, if you just see the Nifty data, so Nifty data, if I can just go for the today's data. So, so if I just go to that, go to that today's data of the nifty so nifty today's close is 11720.80 or you can say say it as 11720 so if i just compare it with the 18th june data which was last traded price was 11750 15 and this is 11,721. So 5 to 6 point plus is there. So can I classify this thing as a trend positive or a trend negative? So to know that, you must know how the trend positive nature is being calculated. So we are using the GANS method. So as per the GANS method, so you must take the 15 degree trend points which is the 15 degree trend point so i am just taking the square root of 11715 so which was the last traded price of the 18th june i am using the gans method if i use the fibonacci it will be different so since it is a gans time analysis method let us use the gan also so i am just using the 15 divided by 180 which is 15 degree trend line or resistance i want to find out so if I just take the 11,000, 11,714.85 for 15 and take a square root, this is giving me 108.24. It is giving me this value. And if I just take 15 divided by 180, so this comes to 0 0.0833 so i am just adding 0 0.0833 and the net result i have to take a square so if the price whatever i am getting if it is if it is lower than today's closing then i can say that i can say that the or the today's closing is higher than my calculated price what i am calculating now by taking the square root of 11715 added with 15 by 180 then i will say it is a trend positive or else i will just see the back data to know whether it was a trend positive or negative so i have taken 0 0.833 added with added with the 11715 square root so whatever the result i got that i need to take a square so it is giving me 11700 and 33.04 so this is what i am getting so as per the gan angle method the 15 degree resistance point is the first 
resistance point I need to take. So above that only trend gives a confirmation. So 11,733 was my value. I have closed at 11,720.8. Though it is a 5 to 6 points of positive closing, but this should be classified as a range day or a range bound day. So this day of 19th June does not give you any clue. The 19th June closing of 11,720.8 does not give you any clue about the trend. It is a range bound day. It is a range bound day. It is a continuation of trend which has been set earlier. So this 18th and 19th data comparison gives you zero clue about the trend which is in place now. So which is continuing now. So the comparison of 18th June and 19th June data says that I am clueless about the trend. So but some trend is there. So for that I need to just look into that earlier data. I will be looking into the earlier data of 14th June and 17th June. So 14th June, the last traded price was 11,827, 828.75 and the 17th June was 11,701.2. So let us take the square root of 11,829, 828.75 and subtract because this is a closing is negative so just subtract to know that whether that is a downtrend or an uptrend so 15 degree factor i am taking again so i am just taking that same factor here 11820 so 11000 15 degree factor i have to take so this minus I am just taking that 11,828.75 square root. So what of the result I am getting? I am going to square it off. So this is telling me 11,810.6. So if the price close below this on 17th, this is for 14th June. So on 17th, if it is closing below this one 11810.63 then i will say it is a trend negative and looking at the closing of 17th june it was 11701 the last traded price that itself says that it was a downtrend so that same downtrend the same downtrend has continued on 18th and the same downtrend is going to is continuing on 19th. The trend downtrend which has started on 17th is continuing on 18th and 19th. So henceforth I will classify the 19th June closing is a negative trend closing. Since it is a range bound it doesn't give me any clue. So I will see that whatever the earlier trend is set that is going continuing now. So earlier trend was set negative and that negative is still continuing so i will be expecting on 20th on 20th which is tomorrow i will be expecting a positive opening or a positive closing closing in the nifty so this is a trend reversal date which is falling on 20th so let us have a look on this so let us have a look on this that whether this is a trend reversal date works tomorrow or not so if you want to work with the trend reversal date, what could be the trade you would have taken today? Because tomorrow is the trend reversal date. So tomorrow you will not, because opening basis it may get impacted or on the closing basis. So today what could be the trend based on this trend reversal date and based on this analysis towards the end of the market cycle, what could be the trade you would have initiated? So today 19th June, you could have bought the future, bought the future along with the put option, buying a put option, put option buy. So if the trend reversal day works on 20th, then 
on the opening hour itself you can book the profit and come out so that could be the best choice to enter a trade in the nifty by looking at this trend reversal dates so keep watching this trend reversal date and and keep watching other trend reversal dates also so the future trend reversal date is another trend reversal date is coming on 25th of june and these two dates are there for the nifty so tomorrow is a trend reversal date again the second trend reversal date is coming on 25th so we need to look and look into the 24th closing if it is a trend positive closing or a trend negative closing based on that 24th june towards the ending hour of the market you should take a position so keep keep watching this video and if you like this video give a like here and if you want to share this video with your friends then please do share this video and have a look whether this is a trend reversal date works tomorrow or not and if you want to procure this software just visit our website go to the product link and you will get the gan price time analysis software so this particular software costs you 3540 including the taxes you can procure this software this will work in android device as well as in your computer so keep watching this video keep sharing this video and if you like please do give a like in this video thank you very much thank you for your time